Okay, สวัสดีครับ student. Um, come back to the lecture. For this one is still in this um section about material and energy balance. And today I will talk about energy balance, with which means that you need to balance all the energy, come in and come out to um to the system. And then we will finish with the unsteady state um material balance and energy balance, which means that this part is depend on time. So your parameter will will be depend on time on this one. Okay, let's start with the. Um, The energy balance. The energy balance is come from the um, concept of thermodynamics. So, if you uh, try to figure out, is a basic energy concept. What is the energy mean that you have kinetic energy, potential energy, uh, heat, or work due to the system? Yeah, we have some. Procedure to calculate the energy inside our system, and we have non-reactive process, and then we have reaction process, which means that you convert something to, uh, you convert your um, reactants to your products, for example, and then we we will go to the um, hand example of the this process. Let's have a look on this one, so. Let me see. Pointer option. Okay. Laser pointer. Okay. Consider the system like this. You have what is it? Energy inside into the system. This one in. This is energy inside, and then we have the out out outbound binary. So you have energy in and out, and you have work work. This is sharp work. So work that related to the sharp mean uh, you have turbine, you have some stellar things, and you have the heat coming out. You notice the arrow. This one mean plus. So this is more sensitive. You have plus side and you have minus side here, and this plus mean you add some work to the system, and this one mean minus. You have uh, heat transfer from uh, system to to the surrounding. This is called boundary system. So the the boundary is the something that you consider in in the system. This means delta E. Delta E is different uh, energies. Uh, so if delta E is plus, so it means that. You have endothermic reaction, so you are absorb some heat to the system, and if your reaction is minus psi, is negative. So you, it mean that your system release some heat to um to the surrounding. So you need to remove this kind of heat. Uh, like if you ferment uh, some alcohol, for example, so you need to remove some heat from the system to keep. Balance of the heat. Otherwise, the heat will disturb your system. Okay, let's see first. This is concept of calculation of enthalpy. Enthalpy is the reference state. So you have reference state mean that that state you have the enthalpy is equal to t zero. Its state property mean that is consider only the the um the initial and then you have. Your final uh value here. So you have this hydrogen peroxide, and then you have hi hydrogen and uh water here. So it doesn't matter you go to which way. So it's only considered from initial to the final product. But sometimes you need to um break down this one. You break down the uh hydrogen peroxide into many steps like this. H1, H2, and H3. This one is cooling. You need to cooling down to this reference state. Mean that reaction occur in this, um, in 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 this temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, and this form reaction. H2 is reaction, heat of reaction. 
this one is only a sensible heat or you just change the temperature. And then you change the temperature from oxygen, 25 degrees Celsius to um, 35 degrees Celsius, and also the same as water, so you have two different things. So delta H mean you can separate into um, many parts, like H1, H2, and HT, delta H1, H2, and HT. And then you sum up everything, and then you've got the actual part. So is state property mean that it doesn't matter is go to which way then um and then you 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 just sum it up and then you got the the file more just make sure that you can do everything i mean it's easier to do it and we will go to the example one by one again okay uh we have a non reaction system like temperature change fat chain, mixing of solution, and a reaction, okay? And this is the example, okay? Before we go to the example, so uh, this is uh, just procedure to calculate energy balance. So you just label everything. Everything looks simple if you draw the diagram, and you have basis of calculation. Reference state means H enthalpy is equal to zero. In this case, Sometimes it's referring to the 25 degrees Celsius, yes. And sometimes you need to state all your assumptions in the solution problems. So you need to make sure that what you assume in your, um, in your calculation, for example. Uh, mainly our book, I have this appendix C is steam table. It gives you the temperature, pressure, and the enthalpy of of uh of the water because it's called steam table and you can find out here your reference appendix so you just have a look here is appendix c for this one ah uh, no not c right okay maybe d Maybe D. Let's see first. But it has everything here. So this one is CP for the chain of the temperature. So you can use this one. And you have a range of temperature here. Methanol, ethanol, yeah. For many uh, common um, common property. Sometimes the CP is depend on t temperature. So you need to integrate this one from this temperature to another temperature. Sometimes it's easier like this, but sometimes it's not easy that, like that. It has many function of temperature, okay. But what I try to say is every, every, um, every, uh, nearly everything so is provided on the appendix. So this is appendix D is steam table. Uh, you can have a look here, the temperature, this is the entropy of a fate change, okay, for example. Okay. Let's have a look. So I talk about the seam table to uh to uh, from from the book and you can find everything there. So this is the first example. Sensible heat means you just change the temperature from one temperature to another temperature. And you need to notice that um, the the pressure should be the same, okay? This is formic acid. Formic acid is a small uh, acid, uh, 150 gram. So you just change from this one. Basically, it's cool down. It's cool down from one temperature to another temperature. Uh, the, um, Formula is delta H equal M C P delta T. C P is from the, the appendix that I already mentioned, so it's uh, formic acid. F F F F this one formic acid. Uh this is not this is is uh this one is um their property, right? This is if they would you change the, the phase. Uh, with formic acid with CP, this one, formic acid, temperature around here, okay, 
0.43 let's see what what we got okay mm, cp okay you need to check the temperature here as well is it valid or not 0.43 is zero degrees celsius okay okay let me see first should be this one formic acid f F F F F Okay. Uh, uh, okay, this one. Twenty to a hundred degrees Celsius. Okay. This is the one. Temperature degree Celsius. Okay. Point five luckily it's um just the number. Point five two four. Point five two four. So you just this is 0.524 MCP delta T. So you just need to um, make sure that you, you, you got the right unit, okay? As I give you the first uh, homework that if you got the right unit, so yeah, sometimes everything is canceled out. This is the unit of um, energy, calorie, and then you change to the kilocalorie. So... Let me see first. Uh, we have the um, the uh, conversion factor here is um, should be something related to energy. So it's table A A what A seven. So calorie BTU power for a uh, foot power for lit ATM uh, kilowatt hour something like this die centimeter okay so you you just refer to this one um let's this one mcp delta t is really simple straightforward and this one this is related to the chain of the phase condensation mean um you 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 chain from vapor to liquid again you have your m here 50 50 gram of uh, benzaldehyde. Benzaldehyde is um, condensed at this temperature. Change temperature. Oh no, change the phase from here. You just have a look on the table. It's from where? C7. C7. Okay, you have a look at C7. Check, check, check first. Benzaldehyde is B. And. C seven wait. Mm hmm C five seven Benzadi high see Melting mean the uh, form liquid uh no form solid to uh, liquid right and this is boiling boiling mean uh, form liquid to vapor and then the other way around so is um this is positive so you go the uh, the the opposite way is should be minus 38.4 see 38.4 and then you change from the opposite side right from vapor to liquid so it's become minus sign so you you give some heat to to become this one okay just have a look on the table make sure the unit is consistent and you will got the the answer is again is kilojoule so if you have a look on the conversion factor is related to energy anyway from this one. Next, sometimes it related to heat of solution, mean that you mix something with um, something and then you got uh, heat form or you, you need to, to add heat to, to make it soluble or mean it's dissolved to each other and Monolic acid and water are available separately at 25 degrees Celsius. If 15 uh, gram of monolic acid, okay, you check the appendix. What is monolic acid? Dissolve in 5 kilogram of water. How much heat might be added to the solvent? What is solution enthalpy related to the company? Monolic acid, molecular weight is 104 because so we dilute, very really dilute, around. 0.3% by weight, okay, with water. 
uh, is can be considered as infinity dilution from the handbook. The other one, the other book, okay. This one, 15 gram. This molecular weight, okay. This is the the delta H m. You you need to um, look at the other book. It's definitely um, it's very difficult to uh, dilute. So you keep this number. Sometimes is um, you you have dilution factor for this sample. It's get a component required. Okay, you need to add uh, this kind of uh, energy to the system. Mm -hmm. For this one, you need to have a look on Delta HM from other textbook, other textbook, and then you um, you keep the unit as well, and then this one you need to put heat to the system in order to um, dissolve it. Okay. And we have five uh, point three, and five point four is uh, the example of uh, calculation of continuous water heater. Okay, like water at twenty five degrees Celsius enter an open heating tank at the rate of. 10 kilogram per ounce liquid water leave the tank uh, around this degree Celsius maybe at a rate of okay different rate and vapor is lost okay so you can see from the mass balance is one in a uh, 10 10 kilogram per hour of water in and then we have at the water we have we have two phase now the first one is uh, liquid and the second one is vapor water okay and but total is equal to 10 kilogram per hour as well what is the heat okay required to the system the q the q here from this equation what is the q here this one they don't mention about the chart work so this this term is equal to zero let's see first <clears throat> okay this is the example okay again is um something like you um uh you need to evaporate evaporation evaporate water and then it's uh coming out into two phase so you need to put some heat in select unit select unit or kilogram or kilojoule degree celsius Draw diagram, okay. Define the boundary, okay. Process is steady state, mean that your constant is uh, your your variable is not depend on time, okay. And the, we have no leak, homogeneous. Everything is mixed together. Evaporation occur at eighty eight degrees Celsius. Is mean that is equilibrium, that time. Vapor is saturated, so it's equilibrium. Chart work, as I mentioned, WS is not uh, is equal to zero. No leak. Okay, you just has a hundred percent efficiency. For example, to 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 um to your system. <coughs> okay, this is exact uh, assumption. Um. You have 10 kilo, this basis calculation. Reference state is the same as the steam, steam table. This is reference state for that steam table that I mentioned. Um, this is the one. So we have enthalpy of water at degree Celsius, enthalpy of saturated steam is mean water, vapor, and this is the inlet. inlet. All is from the steam table this inlet see you draw the diagram to make it easier to understand liquid in 10 kilogram per hour and vapor out 88 at the 88 degrees celsius look look at the property of the enthalpy here and then this is your liquid mm -hmm. and try to do some calculation 
this is the form the equation in out okay equal to ws equal to zero no reaction occur in this process mass virus already complete okay identify this one this is equal to zero okay steady state mean that is equal to zero is not depend on times for example okay you have this one in is only liquid right and then time there enthalpy this is out this is the liquid out and this vapor out and you have the minus sign here you have the minus sign mean you have a look on this one is the arrow is coming out is minus is the arrow coming in is positive this is minus mean you give the heat from the system to the surrounding okay so mean that you need to release this amount of uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you need to release amount this amount of water <clears throat> from the system Oh no no, it's different size. Sorry, sorry. It's different size. It's different size. Um, you need to input. Oh my God. Negative, negative, negative value. Okay, again, you need to increase the. Um, okay, we have a look on this one first. Okay, come back. Again, you need to evaporate this one, right? You must be supply um, supply the heat to make it vap vaporize. Okay, sorry again. This kind of amount, and then you just multiply it with the rate of this one kilojoule hour per hour. Okay. Okay, have a look first. Mm, I see, I see. Uh, yes, you have a look first. Sorry again for the side. Section 5.2. Let me check first. 5.2. 5.2. Okay, um, everything is here already, so you just... Have a look. Five point two. Five point two. Five point two. Okay. <clears throat> Five point two. Okay, Q and W is separate. Okay. All energy exhausted the uh, add together. Done by inlet and outlet steam. The sign appropriate sign must be used to indicate the direction. Work is positive when energy forms surrounding. Okay, you look at the side. Positive is from surrounding to uh, system. Okay, from surrounding to system. Okay, this is positive. And Q 
คิว when the temperature is higher Q and W is opposite side. Okay, opposite side. This is minus. If you give the heat, is minus. Oh no no, is is. If if minus side, if you need to give the heat to the system. Sorry again. Okay. Okay, you just have to consider. Um, what I try to say is, you use this one. And in this sense, you need to give a heat to evaporate it. That's it. Okay. I don't want to uh, complicate things here. Again, okay. Example: combustion. Okay, form formalic acid. Produce form malic acid. This is formalic acid, and this malic acid using enzyme. The name of enzyme is some sometimes is uh, ending with ASE, formalis calculate standard heat or instead. Okay, this is heat of reaction. This is from um, the table again. This is um, the number of this one. So you need to have a look. Delta H of reaction is this one. Positive mean endothermic reaction. So heat is absorbed. To the system, this is formula. This product, malic acid, and this is a reaction. So product minus reaction. But all the balance here, you need to um, to um, uh, you need to uh, balance it. Okay, this is positive side for this one. Heat of reaction. This is the example of heat of reaction. And for the other example is, um, I just want to use you to choose them, which one that you like. The first one is ethanol fermentation, and or the second one is citric acid production. Citric acid is um is this one citric. So basically is um uh. Is the compound or the acid that used in uh, food and beverage industry? So sometimes we can produce it chemically, and then we we use it in uh, um, industrial for the food and drink. Or is um, sometimes is preservative uh, substance. Okay, but in this case, I just want to focus on ethanol. Fermentation first for the energy balance for this one. Uh, the yeast that used in alcohol fermentation is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Okay, Saccharomyces. Okay, and then this is uh, the, the 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 other name. So when you written down the microbial uh, name, so you you need to use this one italic version of uh of uh of the letter is grow anaerobic anaerobic mean you don't have oxygen continuous mean you feed in and feed out all the time at this temperature 30 degrees celsius glucose is used as a carbon source and you use the nitrogen source from um ammonia a mixture of glycerol and ethanol is produced so you have two products here. At steady state, mean that your state, your variable is not um, depend on time. This is the net value of uh, of the calculation. You have good close in, ammonia in, cell out, glycerol out, uh, uh, ethanol out, and then you produce some gas, which is CO two. In this case, we need to calculate. How we gonna cool the system down? Okay, for the ethanol production. The first one you choose the unit kilogram, kilojoule, hour, degree Celsius, and you draw the diagram here. No leak 
for the assumption steady state homogeneous mix very well um, heat of combustion of yeast is this one this is uh, for the ideal solution uh, we don't calculate the effect of um, change in temperature no evaporation no loss and no sharp work we have glucose or one hour this is all the molecular weight that we require this is heat combustion of glucose ammonia glycerol and ethanol this is product this is reactant from this um, table this is the diagram you feed the glucose and ammonia which is the, um, given the amount kilogram per hour and this is echo, uh, CO2 coming out mm -hmm. to the system for this analogic yeast fermentation so you don't want uh, CO, uh, oxygen here because it might be disturb your culture this is your reaction glucose plus ammonia produce some biomass and then this is two product this is byproduct mass balance equation total mass in mass out this is heat of reaction okay this is fit chain this is the one again Q equal to heat of reaction okay we don't have this kind of fit chain we don't have sharp work and this is the equation here glucose ammonia oh no okay okay it's minus sign right okay okay just calculate this one with um, um, the number here as well so we need to balance this equation we have everything here already uh, one by one glucose is G ammonia is A B is cell and we have the from 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 the given value already if you need to work on this kind of fermentation you might have this um, amount again I mean this is the one okay calculate his of reaction is this one see the minus sign the minus sign mean that it need to give the heat out from the system to the surrounding okay from the system to the surrounding is exothermic reaction exothermic mean that you you just release this um amount of heat see and q see this is the equation q is equal to minus heat of reaction but heat of reaction is minus minus right minus time minus is plus okay the plus sign mean remove from the system to the surrounding okay this is the one uh, 14 14 kilo uh, 14 14 no it's like 14 14 megajoule per hour will be removed from the fermenter okay for this one you have a look here first and then this is from the, the table that is why when you do some um, fermentation so you must need to remove the heat from the system right this is this is very huge amount of um uh heat that you need to release this is how that they calculate okay this is the example okay this one and actually there are many uh interesting uh example in from from the book so you you might need to have a look and then we will focus on it again and we come to the final part of this section for the lecture two so is unsteady state material and energy balance i i might go too very fast paul because 
um, most of our calculation is based on steady state. So you don't need to consider time to uh, to um, to calculate. For it's quite easy and simple. This section you need to deal with differential equation. Mean that uh, the differential equation is something like this. If you have a look, Wait, this is um, the one that we written down last time. Okay. Mm. By rector. Okay. Can you see? Wait, wait, wait. It's can you sing. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. It doesn't move. Okay. The differential equation means this one. DCA by DT equal what? This is like concentration or this is time. This is called differential equation. <coughs> Let's wait and see first. Or this one, so mass energy. Let's see what 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 we we can do about it, and then but again it's different. The one the the one that different is only a uh, term. Yeah, this is differential equation. D C A by D T equal what is function of anything. Well, we see first. Okay, let's have a look. Again, we have this kind of balance, but it's depend on time accumulation equal to in and out plus generation minus consumption uh, CSTI mean continu continue as the tank continue as the tank reactor operate in this one the volume of the tank is V feed enter with F1 R is F0. Concentration of reaction A is CA. The concentration of exit is A0. The density is low. low, And the density of product is low O. This is in O. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's the same because it's, if it really like this, it's the same. The tank is well mixed. Everything is mixed together. And undergo reaction is this one is the first reaction, a uh, first order reaction. You mean concentration of A is um, uh, is is one. If we do some balance here, what is the equation, right? And we have this one, accumulation in out. But this one is um, cause some reaction. Okay, let's see first. And sometimes this is, as I mentioned to do, is example of differential equation. D, your variable by dt. And then your ability to just need to integrate this one. I have separate video, but it's different kind of, uh, different um, subject to integrate this kind of thing. And maybe you have um, tried to uh, revise it later on but I will give you some concept first for this one okay from this example assume that is um, first order this one rate of reaction is K constant CA is um, concentration of A okay this is what we call uh, you draw some diagram first This is the one inlet, and this is outlet, and this this is the rate of reaction. This is the um, the one that is accumulation on time. Okay, and sometimes we have F inlet equal to F outlet, and then equal to F. So you just 
deduce from here. Uh, inlet is zero, it's a product. So you just consider as a product. You arrange this thing. This is what I try to mention that you need ability to integrate this one. This one. Let me see first. DCA by CA. Okay, you just arrange to this form. All the first one is constant. You just need to integrate this one. Integrate. Integrate. Integrate DCA over CA is ln, as you know. And then this one is wait. Let me change the color first. And then you give you more clear picture. And this is the one. Wait. Boop, 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 boop. No, it's sing is quite slow. Okay. But what I try to say is you need to have the ability to integrate this one and then you need to come up with the constant form integration. You integrate both sides and you have this one. Okay. Wait. Okay. I'm not sure what happened but Okay, okay. I, I reload this one first. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Not seen yet. Okay. I assume that you know how to <laughs> integrate this one. Just don't forget this one. And then you have the your concentration depend on time and you need to get rid of this natural lock this one natural lock okay and you try to find your concentration here okay k is constant this one and then you have you need to identify the k here boop, 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 which is equal to what okay And sometimes you need to find the time that, okay, concentration uh, is reach 1 over 20 of that initial after 45 minutes. So you, you know the time exactly what your um, concentration change from uh, one to another. Is this coming back? No. Okay, I cannot write it down here, but this is the one. You just need to find the constant, and then sometimes that is give from one to the other. Is reduced twenty time from from the beginning. So, but this one, you are constant. F is constant five liter per minute, and this is your var volume, and this is the uh, the constant. It should be given, and then you um, know what is the time that you require to reach specific amount of concentration of your substance. But again, you need to have this kind of uh, information as well for your reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have another example? Okay, this one is solvent heater solvent heater mean that you heat the solvent sometimes when you use the solvent you need to heat it um electrical coiling 
is emerged. This one calling. So when at 15 degrees Celsius, this is CP into the tank with the rate of this one is in the machine, and heat solvent is the same rate. Okay, and initial at the, this degree Celsius, and electric coil is what? What is the power of the energy? Uh, we need to calculate the time again. If we mention about unsteady state, you need to consider the time to, to this one. Okay, this the four binary. This solvent in, and then they have some initial as well. Um, mean Q is um, the heating uh, is minus psi, so you need to give the heat to the, the system. Give the heat to the system is minus psi. For, for this textbook, um, the, the psi of the heat and work is quite important. So you need to make sure that you understand uh, which textbook that you use. <coughs> oh, this is the how we define the temperature outlet is the same as the inlet tank, so it's well available mix. Ti incoming steam M no leak tank is well mixed, so so everything inside inside the tank is the same property as the one that. Uh, from uh, the outlet. Okay, this is all the assumption. Okay, so when at 10 degrees Celsius is T depth reference. T equal uh, 0, mean the a initial, and T is equal T naught, is 10 degrees Celsius mass balance. So, um, 175 is therefore complete. This is a mass balance. Energy change with time, inlet, outlet, minus Q, plus work, plus work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite difficult for heat balance. You need to check the equation again, but Again, just consider about the um, the reality that when you want to keep heat or not, something like that, to make sure it's correct. Uh, the bill is zero thing. The bill is equal zero. Uh, and then you have this one input T reference MCP delta T MCP delta T. Okay. Next, MCP delta T. MCP delta T is equal to Q. Uh, again, no sharp work, so W is equal to zero. This is the, the Q. Q is minus. Q is negative because the heat flow into the system. Okay, Q negative means flow to the system. And then we put back into equation. Boop, boop, boop. And then we have this differential equation again differential equation you need to have the ability to integrate it back time temperature and then this is the one you need to know final is take this time 6.1 hour the temperature to reach 60 degrees celsius I let you have a look on this one and we come up at the end of lecture two. So for this lecture is separate into two parts, right? The first one is mass balance and the second one is the energy balance and the third one is unsteady state from energy and material balance so if you have problems you just can to you just contact me so for this one i just let you um, take a rest see you in the next section of the lecture of this course by reactor engineering again stay safe from this coronavirus 19 uh, pandemics for today just I just want to say goodbye. Bye-bye.